All right, boys, so Madden dropped some secret or surprise LTDs for Halloween, and we did get a brand new Melvin Ingram and also a George Kittle. Obviously, this is going to be a George Kittle gameplay. I am very excited for him. I am. This is a tight end that is always good in Madden. He's good at run blocking, catching, route running, everything. Always good. But if you guys are excited for the gameplay, make sure to smash that like button. Hit that sub. We are so close to 20K. I think we're under 200 subs away from 20K. I appreciate you guys so much, and let's get right into the gameplay. All right, boys, so George Kittle, there he is, an absolute animal, six foot four, 250. So he can air truck. If you're above 246 pounds, you can air truck. He has 90 speed, so second highest in the game. He's the only 90 speed guy in the game, and there's a 91 Kyle Pitts. So he has really good strength and also run blocking at 87 and an 89 right there. His catching's all above 90 right there. The short and medium route running, both above 90. Let's go see what that deep route running. The deep route running is an 87. It would have been cool to be above a 90, kind of like Kyle Pitts, but this guy, like I said, very good because he could be a run blocker as well. I'm excited for George Kittle as well. You can see the D, uh, I'll show you guys the, the discounted abilities. He does get matchup, nightmare, red zone threat, and also slot apprentice. I think I'm going to use a red zone threat, and then obviously we're going to put on that short in elite we always use. 100% going to use that right there. And let's go get into a game. I'm going to be running him at slot today. My tight end in my offense doesn't really get too much work. So we're going to see if he's good at wide receiver as well. All right, boys, before we get into the video, I will be live on Twitch the entire day, basically. We're going to be re-rolling for LTDs, using the new Kittle, using the new LaShawn McCoy. Make sure to come say what's up. We're probably going to be live as you're watching this right now. Come say what's up, and let's get right into this gameplay. All right, boys, so we are into a game here. It looks like we're going to be home because I do not have uh, two of those three players right there. So this this is our team, and dang, our tight end's not up there. That would have been cool. I think if you put an X Factor on him, though, they usually pop up on the top three, if I'm not mistaken. But hopefully we can get ball first and see if George Kittle can get going. Yes, sir. All right, boys. So uh, first thought, I think we are playing against a man. Like I said, I do have Kittle playing our slot right here. So let's see if he can destroy man coverage. Let's see. And yep, it's 100% going to be man. We do got Sauce Gardner on him. And look at Kittle. He was open. We did miss the ball on a perfect accuracy play. Not the most ideal thing in the world. Also, I don't know why, but I think the LTDs are very rare because I had to spend so much on this LTD compared to like the Diggs LTD. The other LTDs I've done gameplays on, he is like 700K for some reason. But let's see if we get a nice play going here. We're gonna have a high ball to our guy, George Kittle. You guys know he's in... I'm keeping that in the gameplay. I was about to say he's an animal after the catch. I'm keeping that in the gameplay, boys. We're still going to win this. I mean, obviously, I just ran into somebody that was using, I think he was using Crusher and probably Enforcer there, something like that. That was not the most ideal guy to run into, and it looks like this guy just put us on a juke right there. Oh, man. Look at Edge. Come on, man. All right, let's bring everybody down into the box here, and it looks like we're going to get our get back right there. We needed a sack really bad. It looks like this guy is now hurried up two plays in a row. He's definitely a hurry up guy right now. Second and goal. What does he got going for us? I did guess pass right there, so thank God we stopped him. All right, third and goal. Let's get it, baby. We need a big play in the back right here. If we can hold the three after basically spotting in points, or we can get a pick just like that. I'm going to spin. I want to get tackled. There we go, man. Hey, George Kittle, you may have fumbled, but I told you we're still going to win the game for you, buddy. Not going to lie. That was just super unlucky. I don't know who hit him. Let's see his abilities. He has pick artists. Okay, you guys can see why we fumbled. Lumberjack Enforcer, he has like five AP to do that. So we just got to watch out for Derwin James. But it looks like we're going to have ourselves another big catch right there for George Kittle. We're fine, man. We're back. We're back. I do got to keep this guy a little bit humble. So I'm going to keep on. Uh, I've thrown to Kittle four plays. So I'm going to run right here. We do got the LaShawn McCoy. Not going to show you too much with LaShawn McCoy. We already did do a gameplay with him. And wow, Sam Adams, huh? Uh, nice. We're getting that man coverage look again from our opponent. I'm going to keep on. I'm going to run the same play we fumbled on right here. It's a really good man play. We have the out route. We have a crossing slant. We have the crosser on top of it with Kittle. Let's see if we can get it going. And Kittle looks like he's beating man coverage again. Oh, man. I see the safeties coming down on this guy's team, and I am frightened. All right, boys. Let's go for that corner route right here. I think this could be a touchdown. If he beats man, it's definitely man coverage, I think, right here. He just needs to win his one-on-one, -on -one and we should have a touchdown. And look at Kittle under pressure. Was I outside of the... I might have been outside the pocket there. I do have Fearless on. That might be just unlucky. No, it's probably not the smartest thing in the do, but I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Probably not the smartest thing in the world to do, but we're going to run the same play. He's obviously going to go run with it, but he actually didn't. We're going to have a wide-open touchdown with George... 
I thought he was good. He literally user that guy to go stop that round and he just didn't go with it. George Kittle, free time, free 99 right there. All right, boys, let's see what we can get going here. I feel like this guy definitely does want to run the ball. He's coming out in a bunch of very heavy pass formation, the same one I use. Not the best in the run game, but it still can, especially when we have three down linemen. Looks like this guy is giving the audibles to us right now. Oh, that's like the 10th one. Here we go. Another one, a flip two. Let's get it, man. Can we get a stop right here? I like the defense. Tyra Matthew. Let's go, baby. That's all. Hey, that's why a height. I'm telling you guys, some of these good, these smaller guys play really good. And Tyra Matthew has been one of them. Not going to lie. That just took this guy literally a year to call that last play. So I probably shouldn't be talking until he snaps the ball. There we go. We're actually playing now. Okay, okay. A third and three. I'm running man now and I'm sending literally everybody. Literally everybody. Is he going to run with the running back out the backfield? If... If he blocks the running back, I'm just going to help in other coverage. Let's see what he's going to do here, though. Third and three. It looks like he's probably going to call a time. Oh, nope. He did not. And look at Derwin, man. The flat route. Oh, that's my fault. All right, boys. What are we going to get from our opponent right now? I'm going to put that guy in, like I said, on that slant. We know he wants to throw that quick ball. I think that could play it right there. We might be able to get something glitchy. And it looks like he is motioning somebody out. What do we got going for us? And another pick. He, were, he just threw a pick. That's pick artist as well. I never understood hurrying up a bad play. I don't know about you guys, but hurrying up when you throw a bad play is never a good idea. Uh, I mean, I guess it worked. There it is. I guess it worked. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, boys. I feel like people hurry up after they throw something like that, very sus read, so they don't have to watch it back. They know they made a bad play, and they do not want to watch what they just did back. That has to be the reasoning, right? Like, I feel like everybody... I even do it. I'm not going to lie. I even do it. But let's see if we get a nice little play going here. Looks like we're going to get... Oh! And we have Pick Artists go crazy again. Pick Artists, I'm telling you guys, is a game changer. We have two stops already. That one right there, obviously, was a little sus, but that's an ability we pay for. We play, we pay two AP for that on Tracy Porter, and it's going to get us a stop. Let's see if we can get a nice play going here, though. LaShawn McCoy. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I do have another separate gameplay for him, but, you know, we'll take free plays. I can't tell if he's in man or zone, so I'm literally just going to quick snap verticals and maybe hit him on a high ball. I think that, oh, he is in man, I think. We actually might have him wide open. Let's go, man. He's killing. This guy is a really solid team, and then he just has Javon Holland out of nowhere. All right, he's not expecting the same play two plays in a row, and he's not expecting it to be quick snapped again. We're going to throw a high ball back here. I'm telling you guys, nobody expects you to run verticals on inside the 10 yard line but if you do it and you quick snap and you look for that high ball i'm telling you that's one of my favorite plays down there you guys can see i get touchdowns like that all the time in our game plays all right boys first and 10 let's see i feel like we've been playing solid defense right there he had a better drive last drive but that pick artist absolutely balled for us and it looks like we're gonna get ourselves a nice play on kyler murray all right, second and nine. Let's see if we get a nice play going. We know he wants that quick slant, so I'm going to keep putting that purple over there. I like it like that. And he's probably going to be running that corner. Oh, he ran something different there, but we're going to get back to the quarterback again. All right, I'm sending the heat again. Man coverage. Last time we ran this, he just threw a flat route, and this is the best play call we could have had. And wow, wow. All right, I got to help on that, I guess. I don't know. He has not sent out his running back yet, so I'm going to put this guy... I'm actually, oh no, I might've just messed up. He finally sent out the running back. Oh, good play. He's like, he's playing very unpredictable. And I feel like that's when you become a better Madden player. When you're like, you literally cannot predict what your opponent's doing next. And we're going to blitz every single play. He does not seem to like to block his running. I'm going to make him block his running back every play. That's what I'm going to do. And he didn't do it again. And uh, wow, it worked. Wow, that worked. All right, let's continue to blitz right here. I love, love, love what we're doing right now. I feel like we're playing solid defense, although we're getting gapped a little bit here. I think we're still playing nice. Let's see what we can get going here. And it looks like another pick by our opponent right there. I'm just going to take it on in. I know this is a Kittle gameplay, but we got to take our pick six to go 21. Right, boys? Right? And it looks like he might be on out of here. George Kittle with two touchdowns, over 100 yards already. And there he goes, man. GG, George Kittle was an animal. All right, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. George Kittle was definitely worth it. I loved him. That was a very, very, very fun gameplay I just recorded there. But if you guys enjoy content like this, I do this for all the new cards in the game. Make sure to hit that sub button. So close to 20K. Appreciate you guys so much. I'm also going to be live on our stream, our Twitch stream, right after this, probably if you hit the end of the video. We're probably going to be live already. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.